This is the biggest apartment I've ever had. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, lots of space, it has a patio. Um, my dad's down giving some stuff to bring in, but before we do anything, I want to make sure I give you guys a true empty apartment tour. There's nothing in there. Uh, we just had the uh, Wi-Fi set up, so we're good to go. So are you guys excited? We're about to go in. Follow me. Welcome to my home. already up here so um, I'm glad they put it in there because it's hidden but I do need to figure out how to move that over so I can put some storage for like hats, gloves, scarves, that kind of stuff. This is where guests and my coats will be and then down here I plan to um, get a shoe rack so that I can keep like my rain boots and that kind of stuff and then guests can put their shoes in here as well. But it's super spacious. I mean there's lots of room here. <laughs> Moving on down, this is actually the guest bedroom slash office bathroom. So like I said, it's two bedroom, two bath. This is the bath that's attached to that. I will show you guys from the other way, but this is just um, kind of a heads up that it's actually a double door all the way through. Um, so yeah, we'll check that out when we go the other way, but I think that's kind of cool because then, um, you know, people won't have to necessarily go into my office or guest room to use the bathroom. They can use this door here. This double door situation is my laundry room. I don't know if I said this, but this whole apartment is absolutely brand new, freshly built. Um, so all of this is brand new, never been used, which is exciting. But a uh, washer and dryer. I love that this is see-through here. I think that's so cool. Dryer here. Um, definitely probably the largest ones I've had too. And I love this rack here. And I have fallen in love with TikToks, um, like home edit type stuff, and the home edit on Netflix and their Instagram and all of that. So you already know, I'm definitely going to have some cute little organization for my laundry stuff, detergent, all that kind of stuff up there. So I'm super excited about that. All right, and then a super special feature of this apartment that I love and I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um, I have this like wall cubby little gallery thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But it's actually really deep. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so I plan to hopefully like get a really cool like piece of art, maybe a plant, vases. I don't know. Something about this will be incredible. But I just think that's so cool and super unique uh, thing that I've never had an apartment. It really makes this feel like a home. So I'm excited about that. Like I said, we'll figure out what to do with it. I'm planning to go to like Marshalls at home that kind of stuff to uh, figure out what to do with that. So then moving into the kitchen, um, we have the pantry right here. And it's a small, humble pantry, but I've never had a pantry. So to me, this feels like a mansion-sized pantry. <laughs> An amazing pantry, I'm so excited. Again, home edit is gonna be all up in and through here. I already have like extra container. The only thing about it is that it's deep more than it is wide. Um, but we're gonna make it work. I'm, I'm super excited about this. We're gonna get that together for sure. And then moving next to it, we have this beautiful stainless steel refrigerator. I am super psyched about this. It's huge. I probably, no, I don't think I've ever had a fridge this size for sure. It's got this wide and reach pantry. I don't even know what goes in there, but we'll figure it out. Um, all the shelving has got, um, climate control, humidity control, drawers. So that's gonna be super fun to uh, store my fruits and veggies. And then this huge freezer. It's got an ice maker up here, but then two shelves. Never had that. I'm just counting all the blessings you guys because I just feel like this is amazing. I'm like, what? What? Like, <laughs> never in my life, y'all, <laughs> have I ever had anything this nice, okay? Mm -hmm. Very exciting. And then as you can see, there's 
There's tons of storage space in this kitchen. Upper cabinet, lower cabinets. I love this guy because it's got the super wide cabinet situation here. So I can put, uh, I got one of those expandable silverware things. Tons of storage, just so much storage. I don't even have enough pots and pans to store in this place. But I'm super excited about it. I actually am tall enough to use these tachos. So hopefully every inch of this will be used in some kind of way. Then we have this beautiful stainless steel set, again from Samsung, um, stove and microwave. So love it. I just set the time on them, so I'm feeling very official. Everything is up to date, ready to go. On this side, we have a dishwasher. Again, beautiful stainless steel. Everything is controlled from here. And then we have this super deep, awesome kitchen sink. I absolutely love it. It has the hose um, and the two different styles of spray. Oh, love that. Plenty of room. Um, and then storage underneath as well. So I think that's another area where I'm gonna do some storage. Of course, I'll be recording all of those videos so you guys can follow along and do things. Get some inspiration, I guess. Then we have this huge island, you guys. Never had anything like this. So fun about this. You could probably fit six bar stools here if you really wanted to. I bought four just for starters because, you know, I'm, I'm not used to this. So I'll have four. If I end up needing more, then I'll get more. But um, for now, I'll have four. And yeah, it's just so much space. I'm excited to entertain here. I'm already ready to have like wine nights and all kinds of fun stuff and have people over. I can just envision like a charcuterie board, wine will set up, cute little display for my friends and family. It's gonna be great. All right, so we have all that. I love these light pictures. That's another huge selling piece about this apartment is the light pictures in the bathroom and the kitchen. I just think they're so modern. They fit my style already, style of furniture. So this here is the living room space. This is going to be my TV wall. So my TV will be mounted here. I'm going to go ahead and get a TV stand for extra storage and to kind of fill up some space on this wall. My couch is already here. We ordered it last week or a couple weeks ago. It wasn't supposed to be here till Wednesday and it was here before I even got here. So the couch will be here. It's an L-shaped couch. So I love that. I think it will finally fit a ton of people on it. And I don't think I'm going to do a coffee table just to have space. But yeah, so this will be my awesome living room. I'm just spacious in here. And yeah, I love that. So let's check out, let's check out the second bedroom slash guest room slash office. So this is the second bedroom, guest bedroom office. Like super excited to have a, my own separate room for my office. I've always changed my dining room space in all of my apartments to an office. So now I have a dedicated room for it. Um, so what I plan to do is on this wall, I have an Ikea bookcase that I'm purchasing that will pretty much take up the whole wall. Super excited about that. I've been waiting for it to be in stock and it's finally in stock in Columbus. So we're going to get it today before anybody takes it. And then on this wall, I plan to do a sleep-in sofa. So when people come and stay, I will pull out the bed and then I'll have their own little cute little room. Uh, just try to be functional with the space and yeah, I want people to be able to come and stay with me because I've been so independent and by myself for almost a decade. So I'm excited to make space for people. And then my desk, when I finally purchase one, I haven't purchased one. Um, but when I do, it will be over here in this area. Um, let's share all that. So yeah, you can kind of get the vision for it. I thought about doing an accent wall here with some peel and stick wallpaper, but I haven't found a good place to get that from yet. So if you know, let me know down in the uh, comment section. And then I'm thinking about maybe doing a rug in here as well. I don't know, I just really want this to be a super cute space that people like want to come stay in and that I would want to get work done in. You know, all my editing and YouTube and work, all that will be in here. So work from home, all that jazz. This room has a closet. It's about half the size of my master bedroom closet, but it's such a good space. Um, I'll be storing a lot of my like uh, YouTube equipment in here, my holiday stuff, decorations, all that kind of stuff in here. Just kind of like an extra storage space. And then I'll leave these racks open for when people come and stay if they want to hang up their clothes or pull their clothes in the racks, stuff like that. And then this is that bathroom I was telling you guys about. 
This is the second bedroom dress bathroom that opens up back to where we were at the entryway. Um, and I love this countertop. I don't even know what kind of material it is, but it's gorgeous. Got built in shelving, uh, drawers, and cabinets underneath. And I love this area here so I can put some little decoration, a little plant, a little something. And like I said, the lighting fixtures in here are just unmatched. They are such a vibe, such my style, and I'm excited about them. So, yeah, so just standard toilet. I hate how apartments do this and put racks for towels above toilets. I don't understand. And then if you come in, you have the shower here, huge shower, um, huge bathtub, storage area, so I don't have to get a hanging caddy or anything like that. And it's almost like a rain shower. We had to test it out this morning. It's really great. So I love that. This is such a relaxing, cool space. Light about the shower. It's really good. So this is my bedroom. And it pretty much is a reverse of the guest bedroom. Um, it's got this window that looks out onto the patio area. And then I plan to put my bed this way, like facing out that way. Get a dresser maybe on that wall. Nightstand, like maybe about putting two or one. Probably put my stand-up mirror over in that corner. You know, just envisioning what's gonna happen in here. And we have my closet that is gigantic. My closet is huge. I don't even know. I don't even have enough clothes to fill this place, y'all. My clothes are about to stop here. Like, I, just, I don't have any clothes, so it's fine. Got plenty of storage space, tons of storage space. Super excited. I plan to get a couple storage drawers from Ikea to put against the wall in here. I already have some storage cubbies that I'm going to line across the top to store stuff. We're going to get really cute and organized in here. And if you come in all the way, I love this wall here because if you've been following me since Columbus days when I started my channel, you'll remember that I had a prayer closet, a prayer wall in my closet that I loved so much, so much. And I never had space for it after I moved out of there. So this is going to be recreated into my little prayer wall area. Um, so I have something up here. I just really want to make it nice. I might even do a peel and stick wallpaper on this wall and just, I don't know, make it really nice so that I can get back to my prayer time. And this is the perfect prayer closet. So I'm excited. So we're in my bathroom now. It pretty much mirrors the guest bathroom. It's a little bit wider, so I have a little more space in here. Same kind of um, setup with the uh, gray sink situation with all the storage. Cute mirror, same adorable light fixture. It's got the same cool space on the countertop in here as well. Again with this dreaded <laughs> towel thing above the toilet, but it's fine. And the same awesome spacious shower with the rain um, and good storage. And then the bonus of this bathroom is I have a linen closet. I have a linen closet, you guys. This is another area that will be fully home edited all the way. Cute storage of towels and washcloth and all of my daily uses, hair products, all that kind of stuff. So, I think that, oh, I was gonna say it was everything, but I forgot the patio. So I'll give you a sneak peek of the patio, hopefully without leaving away where I live, because I'll make y'all come to Here we go. This is my patio, you guys. It's so cute. I love the wooden black. I feel like that goes with my theme for my entire house anyway. Um, it's small, but mind me, I feel like it's good space this way. Um, this beautiful black railing goes all the way around, I love. And this beautiful big window faces my room, which I also love. I don't necessarily know why, but it just, I don't know. I feel like it brings it together. There is outlets out here, so that's cool. I can maybe do some patio lights or something like that. And I hope to do like an outdoor rug and get some kind of seating out here. Um, just make it cozy. I'm thinking about maybe putting a plant stand or like, I don't know, maybe balcony plants. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. That will also be another video, of course, that take you guys along with me of how I'm going to decorate the space. But I love it, you guys. I love it so much. That is my full apartment tour. If you're excited as me. Those of you who have been sticking, like I said, along for the last, what, four years now, three years. This is a long time coming. I'm finally done with school. I'm finally just enjoying life. I finally have an apartment that I deserve, especially for those who know the drama, honey, of my last apartment. This just feels like, wow. I don't deserve it, but by God's grace and just everything I've been through, he really blessed me with this opportunity to have this apartment. It's now sold out, so the timing of how I found this and when I found it was just it was all gone. So I'm excited to make a home here and get it furnished. If you're excited about that and you want to stay tuned, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll choose to stick around and be a part of this journey. And for those who've been around, thank you for continuously following this journey and praying for me and just hyping me up. Y'all are already on my Instagram blowing me up about moving day. Hope you'll like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.